I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic through which it stands. One nation. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Hey RHS, I'm Katie Thorington. And I'm Dominic Flair, and this is your Daily Dose for Wednesday, November 1st. Our club will be making clay leaf bowls during the month of November. Students will need to pay $1 to cover the cost of supplies. Simone Vaduva went around and asked seniors about what, college, what colleges they are planning to attend and what it was like to fill out the applications online and on site. As the fall season is coming to an end, it is the prime time for seniors to start turning in college applications. Many of us in the class of 2018 are stressed and are trying to balance our normal schedules along with college applications. We are asking questions like, how do I know what to do and where can I go for help? We asked a couple seniors about it and got advice for incoming seniors next year. What college are you applying to? Michigan State University. I've applied to Colorado State University and Michigan State. Did the applications take you to do? Mm, just filling out everything on the websites took me uh, not even half an hour. Uh, a couple of the essays sometimes can take a little bit longer. Uh, it just depends on how much you want to put into them. But for the most part, uh, uh, just for the entire thing, took about an hour. What are some difficulties you went through while applying? Uh, well, I guess I was just a little nervous because it's the only place I'm applying and I've pretty much wanted to go there ever since I can remember. Start your applications in the summer so you can get it over with as soon as possible because senior year, if you're any, like if you take the hard classes, it'll be really beneficial to start them early. College applications will be on your to-do list before you know it, juniors. If you ha ever have any questions, make sure to talk to your counselor. Do you bleed blue and gold? If so, you need this month's Wind Out Tees Flavor of the Month. Order online at accenttees.com slash flavor of the month by, by November 6th. Geo addicts are currently planning their trip for next school year to France. If you are interested and missed the meeting last week, see Mrs. White or Mr. Wymore as soon as possible. Also, attention Costa Rica travelers. There is a Geo addicts meeting on Thursday, November 2nd at 6 p.m. in the LMC to discuss major fundraising opportunities for our trip. RHS competitive cheer tryouts are coming up. Clinics are today and tomorrow from 4 to 5.30 and tryouts are Monday, November 6th at 4 p.m. in the RHS cafeteria. The RHS book club has a meeting tomorrow after school in the LMC. All members should attend, even if they have not finished the book. The Lie Tree. The RHS marching band is qualified for the seventh consecutive year for the Michigan Competing Band Association State Championships held at Ford Field. We are excited about our show, Chemistry, and the students have really enjoyed developing it all season long. Also, this Thursday, the marching band is heading over to Southgate Anderson High School for a community performance night. The Southgate Anderson Marching Band and the Wind Up Marching Chiefs are the only two downriver bands that will be performing at Ford Field this Saturday. Now let's go to Elliot with your daily sports report. Hi, I'm Elliot, and this is your sports report. Remember, students, this Friday the Bears will battle for the district championship home at 7 against Ipsy Lincoln. Good luck, Bears. Boys and girls interested in bowling, there is a sign-up meeting after school today in Mr. Purdue's room. Girls basketball tryouts will begin next Monday. Hockey has their final tryout today at the Yak. Be on the ice by 3.15. That's all for your sports report. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Elliot. Happy birthday to Mateo Fernandez, Brandon Gibbons, and Kaylee Webster. Always remember, never forget, stay, stay hungry, hungry, RHS. RHS.